this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. Okay, now we're going to talk about the auto adjustments in Photoshop and uh, we're just going to talk about basically what it is that they do and uh, the do's and don'ts. There's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to auto adjustments, so I just want to clear that up. So let's have a look here at our image, which uh, definitely does need to be doing some correction here. It's uh, definitely way too blue here. And uh, a lot of our auto adjustments here can actually fix that, but there's one in particular here that will work the best. Now, a lot of people tend to think that the way that auto adjustments works is that you have auto levels, which you apply, and then you have auto contrast, which is better, and then you have auto color, which is the best one of the three, and usually you go one, two, and three. Right, but um, it's actually not supposed to be worked this way. You will find that yes, uh, usually auto color will be the best option to select, but there's really no uh, reason to do auto levels, auto contrast, and auto color. You'll just be taxing uh, more of your computer essentially doing all these three tasks. And I'm going to show you exactly why that is. So we're going to do um, four copies. We're going to do three copies of this image here. So I'm just going to make sure that we end up with four layers here. Just dragging them to the uh, to the new uh, create new layer here, making duplicates. And now we will name this. We have our three options here. So we have levels, contrast, and color. So I'm going to name that. And on the last one here, I want to name them all. Right. So just do what most people tend to do. So let's unview here all of our layers and just go for levels right now. So we're going to go image adjustments and auto levels. So as you can see, it gets rid of some of the blue here going to go to contrast and do adjustments and auto contrast didn't do much auto color adjustments and auto color okay and this is the way that probably the majority of people actually use this they go auto levels auto contrast and auto color okay now we have our levels here we had an original image, and this is still a bit blue, right? Now we're going to view the contrast, and this has made it even more blue. So we see that the auto contrast didn't really help us much. Now we're going to view the color one, so I'm going to uncheck the contrast. And we have to see that the color actually removed a lot of things here. It actually looks pretty good. And we have all of them, which has, guess what, remained the same, right? There's no difference. So really, there is no option here. There's no reason to do all three of the auto adjustments. You just go for the one that is going to be the best one, which is going to be usually color. Now just as a tip here, what auto color uh, tends to do is it takes the image as it is, right? The very blue image, and then it applies its adjustment. Now sometimes when computing what is the original image and what is the end result, it might come to something that is very close to the needed end result but it might not actually reach the best optimal um, color adjustment. And sometimes you'll find it beneficial if you just do that twice. So we've done the color adjustment once. We'll go to adjustment auto color again. And now you see it's a, it's very slight. Obviously, the uh, the change that you'd be making is very slight. Let me just undo here for you to see how there is a bit of a blue cast still. But if I do it again, you see that that blue cast is gone. So. Just as a tip, you'll find that 9 times out of 10, the auto color adjustment is the best one to go for, just automatically, just to save you, you know, just right off the bat, corrects a lot of things. And if you do it twice, you have a pretty good chance of actually correcting it to a very fine-tuned state. And that are the options of the auto adjustments. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.